Greetings, YouTube. We're doing here, we're here doing some network testing. I got that all wrong. We're here doing some network testing. And I want to show people what I'm looking like inside of this garage and how are the cell phone carriers working inside of this confined space. So I'm here supercharging and I wanted to show people what the cell phone carriers look like while I'm waiting for my car to charge up. And as you can see, we have here, AT&T is on the left and T-Mobile is on the right hand side. So the rooftop site is across the street from this building. We're on the back side, inside the garage. Access to the garage is in the back of this building. The front side of the building is closest to the antenna. And we're trying to see why does it cell phone signals get inside of the garage? So right here, we got band 30, 10 megahertz at negative 98 RSRP. And T-Mobile is rocking with standalone 90, negative 97 um, RSRP value on 100 megahertz of N41. So, Let's see what the networks have to offer these uh, carriers. So we're doing Google first. I gotta get that working. Alrighty, here we go. All right, so band two is switched, 20 megahertz, and AT&T is showing up with the N66. T-Mobile is rocking N41, and another band of N41 and N25 on top of it. So this is my first time seeing them carry or aggregate all three inside of the garage here. So AT&T at 331 down and 62 up. Um, T-Mobile at 500 down and 22 up. Um, latency is better on AT&T at nine milliseconds versus T-Mobile's 25. All right. Speed test. Go. What else are we aggregating? Oh, all right, so it's switched. Now it's on N5. AT&T is not aggregating their NR bands together yet. We got band two and band 30 being used. Uh, T-Mobile is aggregating their whole kit and caboodle right now. So in, we're all the way down to N25 at 10 megahertz and N41 at 90. So we're seeing 965 down, 23 up. AT&T is at 319 down and 44 up. So the uploads are getting better from what I could tell um, across the board for all the carriers. So the, the spectrum is helping more with the upload, but the fact we're getting pretty decent upload inside of this garage is very surprising. So, fast
Now we're gonna just keep it on NR. up a little bit more in 66 and for T-Mobile it is 100 megahertz so in 41 trying to get the RSRP value in there it's negative 95 all right so imperv Select the servers. I'm looking for New York City. New York, New York. Where is New York? There it is. No, that's one gig. I need a 10 gig New York. There it is. And go. So remember, this is about data access, network access. Even though T-Mobile is the GOAT right now when it comes to data speeds, access to the network is very, very important. So right now, AT&T is pulled out ahead. T-Mobile is just now starting to finish up on the speed test portion. We are moved on to the latency test for browsing, and AT&T is not wasting any time going at it. So it's burning through. Now they accessed it faster, but look like they had a couple of hiccups on a couple of websites. They're already on to the video test. The RSRP values are still pretty solid. So now we are on only on NR that I'm showing and we're at ne negative 87. And then T-Mobile's at negative 90 or 93-ish for N41. Uh, N AT&T is working with N66. So AT&T at 315 down, 82 up, and a 22 millisecond ping. Browsing, 87. Streaming, 86. T-Mobile, over one gig down, and 35 up, and a 34 millisecond ping. Browsing is better than AT&T's, but worse in the streaming department. Could that be because we're on the ground? Maybe. All right. My YouTube 4K test. 4K 60. Let's do this one. All right, so we want 4K, and I'm surprised that T-Mobile gave me that. All right, so this is where it's going to start. Look like T-Mobile's already hiccuping. All right, and go. Oh, they're both right there. They're both right there. Scrub and drop. AT&T. 
AT&T's first. So as you can see, 4K performance on T-Mobile is not looking so hot. And drop. AT&T again. Well, not looking so hot for T-Mobile right now. All right, so then the last one to do is PUBG. So let's get over to download PUBG, PUBG Mobile. In three, two, one, go. So the looks from the looks of it, T-Mobile is more affected by this garage than the other carriers have been. But right now, T-Mobile has jumped out ahead a little bit. We're at 17 to 22. Now I'll reverse it. AT&T has jumped ahead now. 36, 41. We got a little bit of a race. They're constantly bouncing back and forth. 55 to 50. 63, 60. 73, 74. Oh man, this, this is close. 94, 88. T-Mobile 100, AT&T 95. Ugh. T-Mobile's performance inside this garage is very, very shaky. But you can tell that they're not performing as well due to the fact that there's no assistant devices helping them inside this garage from what I can find in this garage. So currently right now, this is what they look like indoors and the network performance is looking pretty solid. You can get make a phone call in here, um, watch videos, but you could tell there's some sluggish hesitancy on T-Mobile inside this garage and they might not be doing as well as their counterparts are. Now that I, I did notice this was in standalone also. So that could have been a performance hit because it's not finely tuned for the environment that I'm in. No excuses, but you could, you could tell there was some shakiness to it. AT&T still performed very good, even though they're not, they don't have as much spectrum on air. Um, but let me know what you think in the uh, comments below. Um, like, share, and subscribe to the video. Thank y'all for watching and come back for another one.